Greetings designers! Welcome to another SOLIDWORKS short. This video we will explore how to rotate a part, a non-mated part inserted into an assembly, as well as an assembly using just your mouse. For a fixed part or assembly, you can rotate the orientation by clicking, holding the middle mouse button. And you can see that it gives you a rotating icon so that you know it's activated. This works on assemblies as well as part files. Now on the screen, you see a simple collar assembly that needs a bearing inserted. Depending on your setup, you can click on the assembly tab and use the insert components con command and search for the part yourself. You could also click on the insert tab and hover over the component option and then click on the existing part assembly command and likewise search for the part. The more streamlined option that I cover in another video called creating a library is the option that I will utilize in this video. I slide my mouse over to the design library in the task pane and I maneuver to my components library that I set up earlier. And you'll see in here I already have a bearing part that I want. So I click and hold the left click and drop one in. And you can notice I can drop another part in. And then when you're done, you can either hit the escape key or click this red X and that exits that command. <clears throat> You'll notice that the bearings have a hat on them, which means that they are to be inserted one on each end in one way only. Now the back one here is already in a position to where it's easy to mate. And you can see I, by hold, clicking and holding that middle mouse button, I can rotate this assembly and look at any area that I want. Now for th this bearing, I want the hat to face the outside, like over here. So what you can do is right click on the part and hold your right mouse button and you can rotate that part independently so long as it is not mated. If I try to do the right click and hold method here, I will only be able to move it where it is not constrained or mated. So now you'll notice that this part has been rotated using the right click hold method and it's easy to mate where I need it to go. I found that rotating parts in assembly in this method helps with maintaining a cleaner and stress-free process to mating and making assemblies. I hope this information in this video assists in your design efficiency. Be sure to check out the other helpful videos in the SolidWorks short playlist that I mentioned earlier. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more content. Thank you so much for the opportunity to enlighten you.